I'm Jeffrey. I'm Jennifer. I'm Timothy. I'm Pratik. And we're Dineton, making good nutrition quick, easy, and attainable. Meet Tim. He's a student at the University of Maryland and loves the all-you-can-eat dining plan. In fact, when he first got on the plan, he ate like crazy. He ate all the wrong <laughs> foods in all the wrong quantities. And sometimes he just couldn't figure out what to eat at all and wound up being plain disappointed. And so he decided it's about time he started eating healthier, so he downloaded MyFitnessPal, the leading calorie track app, but he got quickly tired of painstakingly entering in each item manually. And an unhappy Tim leads to an unhappy diner. Because at the end of the day, the diner just wants to make sure all their students are happy. If only there was a better way. Well, that's where we come in, because Dineson changes everything. We preload nutritional information based on university-specific meal items so students can take control of what they eat without the tedious input evolved with other calorie tracking apps. But even cooler, we are the first app ever to curate meal options based on students' dietary targets and preferences. <laughs> and this allows Tim to basically enter in the number of calories he wants and any other specifications, such as high protein, and bam, Dynazone gives him delicious meal options in the exact proportions he needs. Happy Tim, happy Diner. So during this important transitional period from home cooking into self-sustainability, students are making the habits that will stay with them for a lifetime. And by helping students make better decisions now, we're helping them form these habits that will stay with them for a lifetime. So along the way, we also reduce obesity, raise awareness for healthful living, and reduce food waste. By our fifth year of operations, we will generate $71 million of social impact based on healthcare reduction costs as well as uh, reductions in food waste. So how do we actually make money? We will contact universities across the nation and set up a rebranding and deployment plan for each university. This allows us to customize our application for each university specifically. Next, we'll charge dining services a 250 licensing fee for each student on their dining plan. And this, uh, this will be a recurring revenue because all the, this licensing fee will be uh, renewed every single semester. Out of the 21 million university students in the US, we are targeting the 10.5 million on university dining plans. We will start off with the University of Maryland and branch out to other Big Ten universities and eventually spread out to other large collegiate alliances that are on dining plans. When hundreds of students using DineZen eventually graduate, we will move with them, supplanting our competitors with additional functionality to become a major player in the $5 billion nutrition market. Unlike our competitors who take a retrospective approach to healthful eating, DineZen is the only app to take a proactive approach through specific meal curations and nutritional targets. In terms of financials, in year one, we'll reach 9,000 students at the University of Maryland, giving us a revenue of $22,500. And by the end of year five, we'll reach over 780,000 students across 60 universities, giving us a final revenue of $4.7 million. In addition to our team's vast background and experience, we have a robust advisory team. First up, we have Ryan Schuler, the CEO and co-founder of JobZen, whose products have entered the Whole Foods, as well as the UMD dining system. Next, we have Mr. Bart Hipple, the Assistant Director of Dining at UMD, who has 28 years of in-depth experience with the dining system. In terms of traction, we have 13, over 13,000 Facebook impressions from our posts and interactive videos. We have 219 <coughs> pre-registration signups and over 630 website views. But most importantly, we have three universities who we've been in email contact with, extremely interested and ready to go for us to go down and pitch to them. And so we're asking for $5,000 for us to meet and pitch to the, these universities in person to finalize the app for the fall 17 trial period at the University of Maryland and to cover marketing costs that will help spread DineZen to our customer user base. With your help, we can make DineZen launch. Again, thank you. We are DineZen and we make good nutrition quick, easy, and attainable. ready to use that part is there and the five thousand dollars is to actually market and launch yeah so thank you for your question so in terms of the app yes we have our beta program ready and yes we have uh, an agreement with umd dining services to do a trial period launch for fall 2017 so we're really excited about that uh, in terms of the costs i'll refer to a uh, appendix real quick all right so 500 would be going towards uh pitching to the other universities we want to make sure we hit these fast so that we get this uh, get all the universities and start the selling process. Um, 3,000 goes towards the actual app. So we're going to finish the app, which is 1,500. App deployment would be 125 on both Apple Store as well as Google Play Store. And finally, AWS, Amazon Web Services hosting will be uh, roughly $1,300.
um, and then also for marketing costs to get this out to the student in 2013 months. So thank you for the question. What specific nutritional information is going to be included in the app? Are you working with RDs, dietitians, to work on those RDAs? It's, it's yeah, so excellent question. Um, basically, all our information comes directly from a database with each university. So ours is pulled from nutrition.umd.edu. And to actually get all the nutritional information and to help with the menu curation, we'll actually be working with uh, UMD's dietitian um, personally and on hand to understand the inner workings of menu creation and basically get advice on the app. What's DineZen 2.0 look like? Uh, so is that in terms of like what our final product will look like? No, what's next? Oh. Gotcha. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so currently our app basically curates a menu, but in the future in DineZen 2.0, we don't see it limited only to that. We want our application to actually create this personalized schedule only for you. We want to be there every step of your nutritional journey. So we want this application meal, meal curation to start learning your preferences. If you like broccoli or you like spinach, you like brown rice, oh no, I like the tortilla, we want to be there to learn with you. And so we want to kind of tailor our application to create this personalized experience and platform for you to grow throughout your years. What was, uh, why did you guys decide to do your user fees from the university and not directly from the consumer? Another question. So, this was so we found out that like students, of course, we're college students. We don't want to pay for it now. So that was like a no-go, basically. Um, however, when we actually sat down with dining services in our first meeting, we didn't bring up the price. It was actually the person we were meeting with, the assistant director. He was like, "Oh, you guys can like uh, add add this onto the student uh, cost. We like it wouldn't increase their cost. They would just take it from their budget." And he was the one that actually suggested this. So because of that, we believe that this is definitely a viable option for going through the university dining services instead of two students. Also, if an app is free, students are more likely to use it, and again, this plays to our social impact. We have time for one more question. Um, how much of the work, how much work is required daily by each university kitchen to actually do this, and do they market this for you to the students? So, I guess I want to hit on two points. The first is the technicals. This requires zero work from the universities. Uh, one thing that we have going for us in terms of scalability is every, um, a lot of universities, especially on the East Coast, use a system called Aurora Nutrition. Uh, that's what that UMD Dining Services uses. They upload all of their nutrition information to the system already. So it's an existing system, and when we created our app, we're plugging into the system. So there's zero work on the university side, we're just pulling from their databases. Um, and then next, uh, I guess, in terms of more work from them, uh, it's just the initial setup which we would handle all of it. Uh, and it's only a 250 student charge. We're not charging like an initial cost to them. So it's very, uh, very easy for them to get set up. So thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. And now we're going to hear from Driving Dollars.